Hello everyone, I'm here Dev and today for the Godot series we're making the bosses attack logic, a health bar and a really basic way for the boss to choose which attacks to do and how to do them and then well I, um, I was trying to make a shader but well you'll see. Starting off really quickly with the boss logic, in the last episode we already made the bullets that aim towards the player automatically, but one of the type of attacks famous for the bullet hell games are those magnificent spiral attacks, I really love them, watching a tutorial, we'll be making that. Spiral attacks are easy, so we define the rotate numbers in an array, but that's something we are going to do later. Uh, we define a rotate speed, spawns, uh, and a radius, and then we create two nodes, make them rotate, uh, spawn each other to a defining angle, spawn another child that on its own spawns the bullet. Then, for the second step, I want the boss health to be visible, so we're gonna slap a progression bar on it and simply making the health in percentage and connect it to the progress bar value. And then, once we reach the zero, we can make so that the boss has multiple lives and maybe each one has a higher level of difficulty? You do you, I don't know. And then we polish some stuff, make the enemy stop attacking, do a special attack, and voila! So, we make a random range between two numbers, one is the aim attack, two is the spiral attack, and we make other choices for the spiral attacks mode, so left, right, double, or just one of them. And finally, for last, even though I started it before the attack logic, here we go with the shader. Shaders are really complex for someone like me and to be honest I barely know that vector 4 is well four variables so basically um, mm. all right I don't know all I can see is that we define a center value and then when I connect it to the player it doesn't work properly 10 years later okay it doesn't work anyway mm. 